G'day ZGD here and welcome back for some more Pillars of Eternity. I'm sitting out the front of Raedric's Hold here. We've done a little bit of preliminary scouting around. And with all the things that have happened here, and to us personally as well, uh, I feel like this has become a bit of a personal thing. We have a personal grudge against Lord Raedric as well, having seen firsthand a lot of the horrible things that he's done. However, that said, I'm not fully invested in the idea of storming the keep of Raedric's Hold. But, it's worth exploring, it's worth, you know, thinking about the potential of whether we can maybe help right some of those wrongs, you know, just a little, a curiosity is leading us forwards. Now, as we approach the bridge at the front of Redrick's Hold and see the guards at the front, a watcher's vision overcomes us, shifting across into a parallel universe, we realise that Another Ziggy D Stardust in another time and another universe. Lost his temper and full heartedly st tried to storm the front of the keep, only to be struck down mercilessly by a large number of guards. I, after reeling from the Watcher's vision, I have a little chuckle to myself <laughs> because I would think, who in their right mind would storm the front of a keep? Come on. <laughs> Who would actually do that? Yeah, that's that's a that's a stupid idea. That's a stupid idea. Who would do that? So, hey, our group decides Hi. to confer. We have a little bit of a discussion. There's a few ways that we could approach this issue. We could head back to Gilded Vale and maybe take a uh, gather a group to take up arms against Raedric's hold. Uh, we could investigate. Uh, other options, maybe uh, more, take a more stealthy approach, potentially. Or we could just completely ignore Raedric's hold fully. After some discussion, uh, Adair suggests that uh, we should we should take a little bit more of a, a tactical, maybe stealthy approach to it, and just explore around and see what other options we might have open to us. I agree with Adair on this, though I think more hands could be very helpful, but that's an option we can explore if we don't find any other sort of opportunities available to us. So with that, let's uh, let's let's explore out a little bit. Let's separate up and see what we can find. Now these pylons here, or these structures along the outsides of the motor, far too steep to climb. Nothing we could really do there. Heading up to the north here further, though. <laughs> Uh, illu illuminated as if as if illuminated by light. Uh, there's a particular there's a particular growth uh, leading up on the walls. It's a series of haggard vines up the side of the wall. Hmm. Seems like it could well be an opportunity. Now this might be something worth exploring. Let me see. Let me see. Let's have a look at this. I shall be discreet. All right, but we'll we'll, we'll be discreet about it, Aloth. I agree with that. Ah, the castle's bell tower rises up over the walls before you. Thick vines have grown over the outer wall, weaving over and, un and between the stones. The vines span nearly the full height of the wall, curving, curling over the parapets. Perhaps if King Raedric had been paying more attention, such opportunities wouldn't present themselves to us. Let's examine the wall a little more closely. The overgrown vines look fairly sturdy, though it is unclear whether they would bear a person's weight. Fair above... Far above, you notice that the section of the parapets has fallen away, presenting a gap in the defences. Oh, not only is the castle becoming overgrown with vines, but even sections of the wall are crumbling and falling. It's, uh, it really seems like Raedric has neglected the defences of his keep significantly. Now, we could jump to reach the vines here. Uh, I'm not, not the most athletic person, but we can see what we do here. We get a running jump, start, a running start on the bank of the moat and leap, aiming for some of the thicker vines. Your handhold sways and there is an ominous cracking sound above you, but the vines hold. The tower looms above you. Mm, very well, let's climb up the vines. The climb up the keep, is, uh, keep wall is long and wearying. Aloth begins to lag behind, fatigued, but in time, the top of the wall comes within reach and you are able to pull yourself up and over. Aloth, get your act together, man. <sighs> Okay, now, we can 
it looks like we can climb back down if we decide that this is <laughs> more than we can handle. <laughs> if we decide this is potentially more than we can handle. But let's, let's explore our opportunity here, you know? Keep, keep our minds open to this such opportunities. Seems to be a rack of armor here. Uh, we'll grab the, uh, the brigantine and the turban. Sure, why not? Alright, I'm going to sneak forwards by myself here and see who we can see up ahead. Okay, there is a guard just there. Is it just the one guard, and is he moving, or is he just is just standing? Okay, he's standing in that section by himself at the moment. It seems. All right, it's just him there. Can't see anyone else. There could be someone else patrolling uh, the top here. Let's just poke down here and make sure there's no one in this area. What can we see from down here? All right, this leads a little bit further down. You can see some weapon racks. Uh, there is, it looks like there is someone patrolling here. Oh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's not raise suspicions. Okay, so there is someone patrolling there. Now, it's possible that we could silently take down this guard here. That would be committing to things pretty, pretty hastily, though. Help. Hmm. How quickly and how stealthily could we take down this guard? And would the man down here notice? He's pretty far away, and there is, like, a building and stuff in the way. Maybe if we had Aloth uh, keep view down here, we might be able to see exactly where this patrolling guard is, and while he's off over here somewhere, attack this guard at the top. And then if we can pick them off one by one, then we may we may have a chance. Certainly a, a much wiser strategy than something like foolishly rushing, rushing the gates, but then I would never do something like that. All right, so there's the guard standing, a guard at the top there. Okay, I can't see the one patrolling. There he is. Okay, he's coming back. Alright, he's pretty close there, but he's probably not going to be able to see up when he's down the wall there. Don't know if the noises, of, the noises of battle could attract his attention. But then if that does occur, it is just the one down there. Hmm. Alright. Looks like he's heading off in that direction now. Alright, this might be the opportunity we're looking for here. Okay. Uh, Aloth is fatigued, so we might have to, uh, we might have to rest sometime soon. Probably from climbing up the wall, I imagine. Okay. Let us, let us, let it, let's do this. I think we might just be able to engage here, probably with our crossbows. We might be able to outright kill him with some nice crossbow shots. I have equipped, uh, our, the second Arbalast myself as well. Alright, let's do this. Let's position ourselves over here, get ourselves ready for a good... A good pair of Arbalas bolts should take him down pretty quickly, I imagine. If not, we can follow up with... I can follow him up with a, a mind spell of some description. Alright, let's give this a go. Alright. Let's switch over, back over to melee weapons. Try and finish him off before he can call for help or anything like that. Uh, I will try and... He seems pretty... Seems pretty tough. I might try and my, uh, mind strike him. To prevent him from wrecking Aloth too much. Alright. Just making sure the guard below hasn't... We haven't grabbed his attention. Let's have Aloth help out a little bit here. Try and get this done a little bit quickly. I don't want, I don't want this fight to be a protracted one. <laughs> Alright, do the same thing again, sir. Let's And let's keep this going. Alright, winding up the Arbalast. Is much tougher than I thought. Oh, the 40 damage hit from the Arbalast there. Wow. Who, was that really me? <laughs> wow, that really was. That was insane. Those things, when they hit, can do a lot of damage. Hold on, hold on. We've, we've grabbed... Someone else is investigating the noises of battle over there. Uh, I suppose that was to be expected. Let's have let's have Al Aloth rush him before he can really realize what's going on and, and grab his grab his bearings. Now, magic missiles are not the uh, not the quietest takedown, but I think the time for that has passed. All right, let's do this. Oh, it did parries and it gets right in there. Perfect. All right, let's have Aloth follow up with a uh, uh, let's let's just go for some regular attacks here. I'll follow up with some more crossbow bolts. All right, this should work pretty well. All right, we finished this, those two. Now, is anyone else coming? Oh, I could use a wee kit. <laughs> yes. looks a little bit, a little bit tired. All right, let's grab what they have. Uh, some silver lusks, <laughs> some coins. All right, let's check this out. Looks like we managed to take those two down without attracting too much more attention. 
Not bad, not bad. I'm glad that we engaged the standing guard over here while the archer was away, because I didn't know he was there. Perhaps I should have watched for a little bit longer to get sort of fully fully see what was going on. All right, we have someone else here. I think we can continue. I shall be discreet. Let me creep forwards. Just make sure uh, there is two. Oh, this looks like a priest or something. Yeah, it seems to be a priest. Okay. Uh, it looks if we're gonna if we're gonna do this, I think we need to take down the priest as quickly as possible. So what yeah. we're gonna do is I'm gonna position over here. Now they're not facing us, so we can get the jump on them here. And in fact, we can even use the wall to our advantage against the. Oh. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Okay, this guy seems to have a longbow as well, which is a bit concerning. All right, let's go for the minor missiles on here. We need to take down this guy as quickly as possible. We'll go here, and we'll have we'll have Aloth rush up and engage the archer. If he engages him in melee, he won't be able to do too much, I don't think. Lava. Oh no! Who is this? A paladin! Oh no! <laughs> okay, all right. I'm a little bit concerned now. All right, let's have Aloth then follow up with a bewildering spectacle. Um, actually, I'll have him creep forwards a little bit. All right. Um, Adair might be able to. He might be able to handle this. I think I will try and heal him though, so that he can uh, stand there and take a beating off all three of them, which could be a bit concerning. And then I will try and follow up with this bewildering spectacle to try and confuse them here. Alright, I'll do my best here. This should work, hopefully. Adair is taking a huge amount of hits. That's uh, pretty concerning. Right, I'm about to get the regeneration off on him. I will now try and... Let's use Mind Blades here to bounce around. I've managed to confuse both of them. Okay, that's good. That's very good. All right, I might engage then... Actually, if I move this way in Mind Wave, I can potentially uh, knock those other two down. So let's try and do that. All right, uh, let me just weasel around this way a little. All right, and we'll Mind Wave him here. Mm, he might be a little bit too far away. I wonder if it's worth trying to... <laughs> I might regret this decision. I might regret this decision. Can I? I can't. Uh, I can't target him while he's confused, apparently, because he's tagged as a friendly. Mm. All right, let me just melee him for now. Then, how is Adair going? Adair is taking a huge beating. Divine Mark, zealous focus. <laughs> All right, well, best of luck. Best of luck. All right, the confusion has happened. Um, maybe I can ray of fire this guy down here. Hopefully do that without burning myself. Okay. Looks like the- how is the archer- how is the dare going here and how's- where's the archer? What's going on here? This is a bit of a mess. Alright, the archer is still confused. The paladin is about to attack the priest of wrath. Uh, Adair is still very injured. Hmm. What do we do here? I think- I think we try and trip the paladin potentially. How long is he? He's only confused for a, a brief moment. Alright, I'm gonna try and trip him to try and take him out of the fight. And I still I wonder if the fire wave is still the best choice. The priest is still uh, pretty healthy. Alright, we'll see what we can do here. Alright, the trip is fan the trip was fantastic. The trip worked perfectly. Alright, we're about to start the beam there. The archer is taking shots at me, it looks like now. Um, the Priest of Wrath is still going. I may be able to now try and uh, beam across here the antipathic pathetic field. This might well work this time. If I use it on the Paladin there. <laughs> the Priest is just getting destroyed. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, we're not, uh, we're not accidentally hurting Adair or anything, are we? No, it seems like we're fine. Alright, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Adair try and trip the archer as well to keep him out. The Priest of Bereth is going to get up soon, but he's, he's still prone for a little bit. Oh, perfect trip! Yes, this is, alright, we've got this, we've got this, guys. Alright, I was a little bit worried, but I think we can, I think we can keep this one under control. Alright, I might try and use a Freezing Grasp here on, uh, the Sunless Grasp on the pre, on the Paladin there. Um, this should work okay. This should work okay. All right, let's let's deal some damage. Throw some mental daggers there, and we'll have, make sure Adair is attacking the archer, so we can. He should be able to finish him off before he gets back up, and then hopefully we can finish off the paladin as well. Lava will be on seek. Looks like the archer is almost down. 
I'll make sure to engage here. Aloth might get wrecked if I'm not careful. Adair has regenerated up quite a bit there. Probably helped uh, thanks to his combat regeneration and the regeneration spell. Oh yes, perfect. All right, everyone finished off the Paladin. Now does Aloth have... Aloth does have his encounter spell. I forgot about this. How may I help? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so that was a little bit more than what I was expecting. But uh, we managed to handle the crisis situation fairly well. This paladin is really nasty. He is flanked though. And trying to withstand the attacks from three enemies was a little bit too much for him. Could use a weak hit. Uh, I think after that fight, we've earned it. <laughs> Alright, let's search these guys first and see what we find. Looks like a bu whole bunch of coins. Of course, some armor from the paladin. Very heavy armor. This is something that maybe uh, a deck could make use of. Kind of like, uh, just scrounge around and maybe maybe potentially get some use out of that. Let's have a look. So currently Adair is wearing some Saints War armor. Now this is, en this is enchanted. Uh, it does grant him the second chance, which is very handy. So tough decision to potentially give that up. But we're looking at plate armor, which has a much higher damage resistance. Now, he will be able to perform less actions in combat, or uh, will act less quickly, because the plate armor is quite heavy. But, hmm, I wonder if the, I wonder if the damage reduction, huge slash and pierce damage reduction, uh, he loses his freeze damage reduction specifically, though I think the damage reduction in general probably covers that, um, but gains some shock damage reduction, hmm, but again, Losing, ah, oh, this also has uh, bonus piercing reduction and second chance. Ooh, that's that's tough. The second chance is really nice because if it dares up in the front and takes too much of a beating and goes down, that's pretty nice to have that. Mm, I might have to keep a dare with his Saints War armor for now. It seems it seems too useful. It seems like I can handle him dropping if he's going to get back up, <laughs> rather than just relying on the the uh, damage reduction of the plate armor. Maybe if I have to get some enchanted plate armor to make it worth it. Alright, I think this seems like a good spot here to uh, have a little bit of a rest. Uh, since it seems like we're safe in this little corner here. Let me see if... Can I, can I see down if we move down over here? Only a little bit. Alright, we can't make it too much. I know there is someone patrolling down there. But this seems like a good place to rest. I only have enough supplies for one rest. But I think we need to make use of it now. Okay, night has fallen over Radrix Hold. We've taken out some of the guards from the walls here, a nasty paladin and priest as well. So we are dealing with some much stronger opponents. Let's explore down this way and see if we can grab the, you know, grab the attention of anyone I'll else. I'll see what I can find. All right, now there is a patrolling, someone patrolling down here. Where are they? All right, so I see this guy with an axe. Is there anyone else? Let me poke down this way a little bit. All right, there's a, a guy with a spear there as well. Now can we can we take advantage of this 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 spot just here? This might actually work really well. If I grab this guy's attention, air quotations, <laughs> with a crossbow bolt to the face, this might actually be okay. But we'll have we'll have to have a Aloth and Adair uh, rush in to meet up as well. We can have Aloth try and use a crossbow bolt as well. We should be able to take a shot from up here. It looks maybe maybe might be difficult to get a shot off from here. See if we can get a shot off. Here we go! Oh, perfect. Alright. That was a lot of damage dealt. I don't know if I don't know if it grabbed the attention of the other guy. Let's have Adair move into melee. And I'd probably best well let me see if I can retreat behind Adair. Alright, that worked well. And let me take another shot with the Arbalast here. And we'll have Aloth just come in for some regular attacks. Fire some of his little magic missiles. Ooh, Adair taking a bit of a beating there off a two-handed axe. Alright, hold on, let's use this thing. We better do some damage to this guy. A bit awkward fighting on the stairwell. Oh man, Adair's taking such a beating! Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's use, um... Alright, maybe I should be using more of my... More of my abilities here, there's no reason for me not to, really. And it could help Adair <laughs> stop taking so much punishment. Okay, let's use another... Uh, Arcane Assault here. There we go. We put him down. Put him mm -hmm. down. Alright, Adair, just catch your breath, man. Catch your breath. I know you took a couple nasty... couple, couple nasty grazes there. <laughs> Alright. 
But we did manage to pick off this guy without grabbing the other one's attention hey. yet, so now we can probably, again, grab his attention. I shall be discreet. If you know what I mean. Hmm, this should work well. There is two there, okay. Uh, we have an archer and we have uh, another one with a two-handed axe, it looks like. Uh, so I'm probably going to want Aloth on the stairs here as well to to follow up with some magic. Hmm, what might be the best way of me doing this? Might, um... Aloth's in a bit of an awkward position. I can't really get him to, like, do a fan of flames or anything without him being up the front. With the staircase, we don't really have much space to retreat. And I certainly don't want to retreat in that direction because we don't know what is over there exactly. So we might have Aloth move down a little. Indeed. Now, I think probably taking out the archer first might be the best idea. And then engaging in melee with the guard might not be that bad. Alright, we'll try we'll try for that. No, attack. <laughs> Very good. And I'll I'll have uh, I'll have Alov get ready. Mm, I don't know if I want to use my minor missiles yet. I might just try it for the arcane assaults. Ah, Alov! Uh, uh, yeah. Why didn't you reload uh, reload earlier, man? <laughs> this is not the time to be reloading. You fool! Uh, all right, uh, and, uh, we're gonna have to have a discussion about this later, man. <laughs> this is. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. All right, I might need to try and... Mental Binding does stop them from attacking fully, doesn't it? Paralyzing them, okay. Maybe I'll just paralyze the guard here and we can take out the archer. I'll see if I can get that to work. <laughs> this might be a little bit awkward. Um, okay, let's have Aloth move down a little bit further, get ready. Firing a, firing an arrow across there. Ah, oh, this is not good, this is not good. All right, we'll wait a second, we'll wait a second here. Let me slow things down a little. So I can grab a time, grab, grab time, get some time here to get ready. Now, did I fail the paralysis? Oh no, we're getting, we're getting ready to paralyze now. All right, <laughs> Aloth, I'm, so, I dare even, I'm, I'm so, I'm so disappointed. Come on, come on. All right, we best take out the, um, the melee guard here. Then I don't have much choice in the matter. I don't think. Hey. We're just gonna have to take a beating from the archer and just try and push forwards through it. <laughs> Alright, so he is, uh, he has paralyzed now. Uh, maybe, maybe with, with that in mind, it might be a good idea for me to try and take out this guy. We'll have, we'll have Adair keep beating on him and I'll, I'll arcane assault him again as well. That's it. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, get interrupted. <laughs> I think, yeah, I did actually interrupt him as he was going to take a shot, that's perfect. Okay, now I am out of... Let's move into melee. I think that's probably the best choice here. I am slowed at the moment. Alright, he's gotten back up. Let's let's trip him. I should have done that a little bit earlier. We're gonna stay on, we're gonna stay on our game here. Trip him! Yes! Perfect. Alright. You guys keep fighting. How am I doing over here? Dealing with the archer. I think we've got this. We've got this, okay. Good hit, Aloth. Good hit, man. Well, let's finish off this guard. Well, he's on the ground. No, he's not going to be able to do too much. He got, managed to get back up. Oh, we took a swing at Adair as well. Quickly, finish him. All right, there we go. <laughs> Aloth, now, re reload your crossbow bolt. Re reload your crossbow before the next fight, please. Please. It's not that hard. Just, it's, I just asked this one thing of you. <laughs> All right. Okay, how's everyone going? Uh, we're, we're okay, no one's like really fatigued. We've taken a little bit of damage, but it's not that bad. Nothing we can't really deal with. Okay. Hmm. So is there anyone over here? Let's I'll go back to sneaking. Find. There's a couple more entrances here. So there was a doorway up to, looks like a main building up there. Uh, whereas this seems like maybe a little storeroom or something. Let's search this crate first. Ah, some coins. Who leaves their money lying everywhere like that? And there's a, there's an open staircase as well, which looks like it leads into the main hold. I think I might poke into here in first and see what we can find. Oh, I'm I'm really enjoying exploring Rodrick's hold. This is this is intense. <laughs> I'm liking this. It is it is a little storeroom, like I like I suspected. Looks like the shape of the building didn't join into the rest of it. Now we're probably not going to be able to unlock this. What about this one over here? I don't think we have any lockpicks on us actually. I have, I do have four lockpicks. This takes three mechanics plus four lockpicks or four mechanics. Okay, I don't really have enough of either of those, unfortunately. 
need to uh, need to work on our mechanics a little bit more. Hmm? Who who does have who does have some mechanics? Let's have a look at the character. Um, who's the best with mechanics? All right, certainly not a dare. Uh, Aloth has two in mechanics, and I have one in mechanics. So Aloth is the most mechanically minded. But it looks like we can't do much with the storeroom now. Everything, everything nice is locked away currently. So maybe we can return here later. Maybe we'll find a, a key off a guard captain or something as well. That's also also worth considering. Okay, so I'm curious about these stairs next. Let's poke in here and see what we can see. All right, this leads down to the main, uh, the central square, which. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe I should have just poked my head out the door instead of rushing out there like that. Let's just get back up in there. I don't think we want to. I don't think we want to go down there just yet. So let's continue exploring up this way. <laughs> I d I'm not uh, not feeling that confident yet to walk just waltz into the main courtyard. We'll see what we can get achieved up here. I'm gonna need some more camping supplies, otherwise we're gonna have a hard time though. All right, let's head into this this doorway here. This looks like a main sort of building. Hmm. This could be the actual throne room or something. No, it doesn't look like it. I see. I see more storage. All right, these ones aren't locked, but let's um. Shall be discreet. Let's just make sure they're not trapped okay. first. I see. Seem to be okay. I found some Baratheon priest robes. Uh, very light damage reduction, but also very light clothing as well. Uh, we'll grab those. Maybe we can sell those. Sell those to some uh, <laughs> some priests somewhere. Oh, however, though, a finely crafted morning star, a two-handed morning star, no less. Ooh, okay. I don't know who would who would be using this exactly. Uh, something I can potentially use. I'm kind of liking my my shield and Gorn's share setup as well. Oh, hold on, looks like it's went into our inventory here. A fine morning star, which gives it additional accuracy and damage. Huge cross damage, a very powerful uh, potential for interrupting as well when you do land a strike with it. We're going to need someone pretty big and strong to wield this thing, I think. <laughs> I don't know if any, of, if any of us are really up to the task, but a nice find nonetheless. All right, there is a staircase down here, and it looks like a door over here. Hmm, where does this lead? Open the door. Let me, let me sneak in, just see if there's anyone in, in here. No, it seems to be fine. Alright, yes. let's move forwards. Looks like there's some shelves and stuff here I can have a little bit of a poke around in. Some padded armor. Yeah, just just raid all the clothing from the, the keep. I see I see some acolytes or priests or something up ahead. Let me just poke around in this weapon rack first. <laughs> yes. Loot all the things. Okay. Um let me poke around this way and just check who's in this room before we approach these two. Alright, this room seems to be this room seems to be empty. Okay, with that yes. then let's uh let's just get ready. These guys do see us. Oh okay. Um <laughs> For some reason I thought they might be friendly, but I'm I am mistaken. I'm mistaken. Alright, let me try and blind these two then since they've kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I don't ask me how they managed to do that. Don't ask me how. Um, all right, let's shoot at this one here, and I'll see if Aloth can get in and do something a little bit, maybe something a little bit drastic. Whoa, no, okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Um, did we manage to blind them? Okay, why am I retreating right now exactly? That wasn't, that wasn't my plan. That wasn't exactly my plan. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and blind them again. We can see if like, we can get that happening. I might have uh, uh, I think I might have misclicked. I think that might have been my bad. Uh, in that case, then let me try and dazzling light the dazzling light this one as well in case the other, he doesn't get blinded. And we'll take it. We'll take a shot still. Looks like I'm getting ready Hi. to take a shot there. No, Aloth, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fool? Hi. Get back in the fight. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try and confuse these two then. All right. Oh, someone else is coming in as well. We might have, we might have caught someone else's attention. Okay, Dan needs to get into melee. We can't have him hanging back like this. All right, go and trip this one. Hold on. Looks like he is blinded, day and dazed. Looks like, and he's only blinded. I'm gonna try and trip this one then. This one's probably gonna. Yep. Here comes the high priest as well. Oh. <laughs> 
these priests mean look like they mean business as well. These don't look like your uh, your friendly priests. Okay. Um, how are we going? Blinded, dazzling, dazzled. Uh, I mean, we've we've hit them with all of the status effects. It might be time now to try and do some damage instead. What have I got here? I think arcane assault probably would be the best. I'm gonna take some damage. I do have a potion of regeneration, which I may need to quaff that if things continue going as badly as they are currently. Now, maybe trying to paralyze this guy might not be a bad idea. <laughs> All right, what just happened there? <laughs> Did Haloth like trip and knocked him over? I, I don't know what happened. Things are getting messy here. Okay, all right, hold on. What's going on here? Adair, you try and trip this guy, please. This is a this is a mess, guys. This is an absolute mess. All right, the dazzling lights have happened. Let's go for the bewildering spectacle. This could cause some chaos. Hopefully, that'll help. And I'm going to I'm going to drink a potion now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Knocked out. Wow, these guys hit really hard. These guys hit really hard. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do with just Adair and Aloth. Aloth's going to have to pull something out, I think. Alright, Adair has managed to trip one of them there. Let's see if we can trip the other one as well. Alright, the, the confuse has gone off, confusing two of them. Perfect. Oh, actually, confusing all three of them. Alright, well, I'm going to attack this guy anyway. Hold on, we should probably attack... Look at all those status effects! <laughs> Alright, the confuse is not long, long, long lived, though. Let me attack this one here. And I might, or maybe, 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 maybe this is a good chance for Adair to pull back and Aloth to fan of flames. He's gonna have to move forward a little bit. All right, this is. I gotta. I've gotta try something drastic. I. I, I have to. Come on, fan of flames. Come on, oh, fan of flames. Adair, attack the high priest, please. Trip him over. Trip him over. Oh! <laughs> oh man! Yes! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Aloth MVP. Well done. Oh man! Some pat on the backs are in order. That's for sure. Wow! That was really impressive. <laughs> Aloth is the man. That fan of flames was absolutely heroic. Wow, wow. <laughs> that was excellent, that was excellent. All right, all right, perfect. Let us, um, I mean, I'm really injured. Um, we'll, ha we'll have to push forwards very carefully if we're gonna push forwards from here. But that was, uh, that was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> all right, there is a temple guardian up ahead. He looks very heavily armored. Um, Hmm, there's three of us and only one of him though. I don't know if there's anyone else in the area. Let's just move back a little bit. I am going to want to stay out of the fray now because I've taken so much damage. But I can grab his attention with a crossbow bolt potentially and then have a dare move in. All right, let's see. Let's see if this goes okay. He 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 ran off. He ran off. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just let's wait for him to reapproach and we'll get we'll get ready for a crossbow bolt. Hey. Uh, maybe I have to have a dare do the same thing as well actually. Hi. And let's have Aloth just hang back. He can use some spells once he okay. closes in. We'll have Adair engage in the doorway, I think. Okay, can I move forwards a little bit? I don't want to go too far forwards. Who is this? Uh, there's another ac acolyte. Okay, so there's more than one then. Well, we can still we can still have Adair engage two of them in the doorway. Let's grab the acolyte's attention here. Is is he looks poorly armored? We might be able to take him down pretty quickly. All right, let's get ready to retreat. All right, back through the doorway. And we'll get a dare to get ready in the in the doorway. Let's have him switch back to his melee weapon. All right, get in the doorway. Get in the doorway. All right, that's that's pretty much perfect. Stay there. Okay, and we'll have. I'll I'll, I'll retreat a little bit further, and we'll get ready for some crossbow bolting action. Let's have a dare just engage right here. Perfect. Let's trip him. We can do that. Take him out of the fight. He's not going to last long, I don't think. Let's just do a regular attack here. Oh, absolutely butchered. Finish him! Finish him! Finish him quickly while he's down! Alright, excellent. Looks like the Guardian was nowhere to be seen as well. Let's maintain this formation, I think. Let's have a dare just wait here. Actually, even maybe... 
Mm, do I want to push forwards? Maybe I'll be patient. We'll be patient. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. He should come back. And when he sees the corpse of his friend lying on the ground, <laughs> it should, uh, should provoke him to fight. You can hear footsteps on the wooden floorboards to the left. Or to the right. Mm, maybe I can creep forwards with a crossbow here. Let me just see what we can see. Oh, I shall sneaking. Be sneaking. How far away is that guardian? Wow, he's, he's wandered all the way off. Alright, there is another another priest there. Let's move back. Is there anyone in this room that I can grab their attention? I'm now conscious of the fact that Guardian might come back at any point though. So, I don't want to be caught too far out of position. Alright, there is another yeah. Acolyte here. I'm going to grab Where his attention with a crossbow bolt. Alright, that's good. Oh, big hit! Big hit! Alright, get back in the doorway. And we'll switch to melee weapons as well. Quickly, quickly! Alright, I'll get ready with a, another crossbow bolt here. No, 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 stay back. Please, hold your ground. <laughs> okay. I should, ooh. Uh, we, I hit him for 37 damage, wow! <laughs> Big hits with the Arbalas. Really nice, um, although it takes forever to reload them and to use them, they're really slow. Uh, look at that reload time. Um, like, for initiating with flying, just opening up and hey. killing someone before they even get a chance to act. Pretty powerful. I, I think I like them quite a bit. Hey. Alright, let's see who discreet. else we can spot here. Switch back over to the fine Arbalast. On a dare. Was there anyone else in this room? Was it his footprints I heard? Or his footsteps? Um, I spotted... I spotted a priestess in there. Okay. Just her? Alright, I'm gonna... Let's take a shot at her. Come on, Adair. Quickly, man. Let's do this. Let's do this! Adair, we don't have time for this! Leave it to me! Yes, that's what I'm telling you to do. Alright. Alright, let's get back in the doorway. Oh, there's more, there's more, okay. Uh, it looks like there's two priests there. How did I not see him? <laughs> I'm a fool. Alright, hold on. If we angle ourselves around here a little bit better, we might be able to get a better shot off. Let's go back into melee, and I'm gonna retreat into the door a little bit here. But we still don't want to let them through. Oh, hold on. He is casting Halt. Okay, hopefully... I don't know what Halt does. We'll see. Priestess of Breath affects Priestess of Breath with uh, Holy Radiance. Okay, that one was Holy Radiance. The other one's casting Halt. Hmm. Alright, let's move around a bit here. So, let's see if I can get a shot. Nah, no, let's, let's move back. Alright. Um, looks like we should be okay. How is... How is... How is the deer going? He's okay? He's alright? Alright, good, good, good. Let's wait through and engage. Let's do an arcane assault here. Let's take a shot with the crossbow bolt. He's getting ready to cast a spell. Let's have Adair engage here. Alright, Adair has taken some hits there. Uh, 28 burn damage from Divine Mark. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, quickly finish him off. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Whoa! Big fireball thing! Okay, <laughs> that's a little concerning. An I I iconic projection grazes Blackhound. No, the Blackhound! <laughs> no, Blackhound, get out of the way! Don't get hurt! Did he? Did I didn't actually? The doggy didn't die, did it? Better not have. All right, I might need to trip this guy. He's causing more problems than I thought he would. And let me go ahead and mind blast him. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, <laughs> those sound effects. Okay, let's do another Mind Blast here on the Priest here. I'll have to reposition. Take a shot there. Okay, Aloth, you need to you need to work, man. We need some hits here. Alright, good hits, good hits. Follow up, I think we need to try and finish this guy. Let's go Magic Missiles here. We should... Uh, uh, Idea should be able to finish this one, hopefully. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Guardian's coming back. I knew he'd be here soon. Oh no, I've taken some big hits. Alright, I need to retreat. Let's get out of there. Let's shoot this guy a little bit. I um, think we're going to follow up with another magic missile. Adair should hopefully be okay. Do I need to trip this guy? He's spotted us. He's spotted us. He's not happy. He's not happy. Not quickly, quickly. Alright, all right, Adair. I, I trust you, man. Uh, maybe now is a good time to take a swig of your beer, sir. Prepare yourself for the un the oncoming fight. Gulp. <laughs> so epic. So epic. 
Alright, what have I got left here? Uh, bewildering Spectacle. Uh, fire Beam. I'm worried if I try and like use a Ray of Fire, it's gonna kill. <laughs> it's gonna kill Adair. Alright, I'll use uh, Bewildering Spectacle. We can maybe buy ourselves some time. Alright, finish him off. We don't have any more trips or anything else. Ah, thick where sun rock. Ooh, Adair, it's not doing so well. Bewildering Spectacle has taken effect. Ah, good, bought us some time from the Guardian. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Let's finish this guy quickly. Good work, Adair, good work. Alright, now I'm gonna have you attack the Temple Guardian. I know he's currently friendly, but I'm sure you can work your way around that. I'm sure you can overcome that particular obstacle. And if we all attack him here, we might be able to take him down before he... Oh, no. Before he kills Adair, hopefully. Quickly! Adair, you've got this man, I believe in you. This guy looks like an absolute beast with his two-handed weapon. <sighs> Alright, all we can really do now is hope. Hold on, hold on, actually, I have a little bit, I have something else up my sleeve. I should definitely, I realise that I've gained focus through the prolonged fight. Perfect, alright. Yes, blinded and dazed, alright, that should work to our favour quite a bit here. Um, I can probably throw a Mind Wave in there for a little bit of bonus damage as well. It's nice and fast. Oh, taking a big swing. This could lop off Adair's head. Ugh! Five PS damage. Alright. <laughs> Keep it together, Adair. You've got this. Hold it together, man. Oh, yes. Perfect. Adair doesn't put out much damage, but he can certainly take a beating. His combat regeneration is holding him over here. <laughs> 15 pierce damage. That was a big hit there. Come on, keep it together, guys. Let's do this. We got this. Just a little more. A little further. Temple Guardian's looking beaten up. I'm gonna take his fancy armor, too. You can be sure of that. Ah, oh, yes. A nice final crossbow bolt there. To the chest. Finishes him off. 20 pierce damage. Whew! <laughs> that was a lot of damage. And that was a lot of damage. I did with the damage reduction from the beer. Hey. Here we go, some some heavy plate armor there, and he had a great sword. Pretty well equipped guy. Let's go ahead and just take mm. all that stuff. So, we're still very, very damaged though. I am very hurt. We may, I don't know, we may need to even retreat. I'm, I'm out of supplies, we can't rest anymore. Like, I wonder what else we can get done here. Mm. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have I'll Adair creep find. forwards a little bit and just see what's in this room. Maybe, maybe we can find some supplies or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there's oh, there's another priest in there. Damn it. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. The Black Hound is still alive. That is good news. Hmm. All right, Aloth's still perfectly healthy. Adair can handle another fight, but me, I'm in I'm in rough shape. I'm not doing well at all. Not at all. How may I help? Aloth is also out of spells, although he's healthy, he's, he's got very little to contribute to the next fight. Now, if this hey. is just the one priest, though, we can probably, we can probably deal with that. Let's just sneak forward slowly. It looks like it is just the one priest. Alright, let's have... Hi? Let's have Aloth come in. And we'll have these two try and take him down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang back here, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna watch the entrance, make sure no one sneaks in behind us. Hi. Uh, you guys, you guys can take out that priest. I, you know, I trust, I trust you. I think you guys have got this. <laughs> hey. Okay. All right then. <laughs> Let's open up with the crossbow bolt, of course. Ferathus. Ferathus, indeed. Go around to get a better, a better side of things. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hold on. Calm down. Alright, hold on. Adair, go back to your melee weapons, man. Don't don't try and crossbow from close range. Not a good idea. Quickly, take him out! Ooh, ooh trip, 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 trip. Before he gets his spell off. Ah, uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Trip. There we go. Quickly. <laughs> Alright, we don't even get that spell off. I don't know what it's gonna do. I don't like it. Looks like we were able to interrupt him. Good. Oh, that was actually Aelot's Arcane Assault managed to interrupt him. Nice, I nice. Deal with this one. Uh, do you have another trip, man? Try again. Let's just let's not take any damage. We don't we don't need to from him. Ah, oh, yes. In the process of tripping over, we also slayed him. I like it. Are we good? We good? Okay, I mm. think we're okay. Cool. <laughs> let's grab his stuff. Oh, so many things. We'll be able to equip a small army soon. Hmm. Two mechanics plus three lockpicks. In fact, yes. I think. Hmm. 
I mean, I need supplies, and who knows, there could be supplies in here. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it, let's go for it. The work of a moment. Ah, oh, good work, Aloth. You got it covered, man. What do we got here? Potion of Infuse with Vital Essence. 50 max endurance, 50 max health for 45 seconds. That's uh, pretty powerful, wow. Uh, potion of Power, increased attack speed, max endurance. Very powerful potions here. Uh, some Moonstones, which look quite valuable. And 250 coins? Wow, I'm making bank. <laughs> well, we'll at least be able to pay for supplies with those. But I don't know how much further we can push. I am not, I am not doing well. Not, not at all. And I mean, we can take off, yes. like, we can take out the odd priest standing by themselves, but any, any, yeah. like, anything more than that, I think is going to be a real challenge. Hold on, let's, let's, um, let's I'll just cautiously check in here. Who and what is in here? Well, this is a big room. That means there could be a lot of people in here. I see a, pr a priest, or a priestess. Anyone else hiding in here? Or is it just the one? No, there's two. All right. Two probably probably don't want to deal with these guys just yet. Must be deep inside their books because yes. they haven't heard all the combat happening out here. <laughs> this massive this massive massacre. I feel a little bit a little bit bad killing all these priests, but I mean, <laughs> they. Uh, I'm sure they've had a hand in the evil doings of Lord Raedric himself. Okay, there is another priest here. Now we did take out the the guard that was wandering around. Is it just this one by itself? Because we, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Hopefully we, Aloth can get an interrupt there. I'm going to uh, move in and try and trip. No. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Okay. I don't know if I want to get in and shoot some crossbow bolts or not. I, I'm very concerned about like a stray projectile hitting me. Because basically, it's going to take like a breath, a breeze to kill me. Not much at all. Okay. Um, Aloth is currently stuck. Hmm. That's reducing his deflection, reflexes, dexterity, and accuracy, and he probably can't move either. Uh, that's fine. He can still dish out some damage, I think. We'll give him a go at that. Aloth's going for the trip. Nice trip. The Acolyte over here isn't too eager to get in the fight, it looks like. Alright, you guys both attack. We can hopefully finish the Priestess here before she gets back up. Finish her! Yes. Very nicely done. Alright, let's wait for this stuck to wear off. Real good? Yes. I think we're all good. All right, I think we're all good. Now, is hey, there anyone else I up ahead? Discreet. We might be able to push just a little further here. Let me just check around this. So uh oh, <laughs> I'm terrible. All right, Aloth, uh, Adair is not good at sneaking. Adair is not good at sneaking. All right, let's move back a little bit. I don't want to be fighting on that entrance if I can help it. Man, these guys are fast. Hold on. All right, trip. Yes, and I will use another arcane assault here. Wow, fast. Slow things down a little bit. <laughs> and the it, time to gauge exactly what's going on. Might as well try and trip him here. Oh man! Ouch! Ouch! Wow, that guy was nasty. He didn't. He looked pretty unassuming, but wow. Well, all right, I think we may need to. We may need to retreat now. I don't think with a dare getting this this b How beaten up as well. Think it might be time for us to retreat. I'm gonna need to get some supplies, rest up, and then see if we can continue to take Redrick's hold. Quite the battle so far, sneaking in the side of Redrick's hold, taking out some of the guards on the walls, while the guards down in the courtyard remain completely unaware, slowly working th our way through and somewhat stealthily picking off the priests and priestess, along with some heavily armoured guards as well. Pretty exciting stuff taking the hold of Raedric. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next episode after hopefully we have a bit of a rest and see if we can continue pushing through and taking them out. That is it for now. I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.